Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is Redmi K40 or the Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X 5G custom ROM reviews I am back with new UI this is almost a new UI guys I haven't done this UI in my channel as of now go to settings I want to show that as you can see Moto X40 ported ROM my UI version is 6.0 android version is 14 you guys can see here and first number 2023 is the security patch available baseband version you can see kernel user is 4.19.300 nexus earlier so version 26 is the kernel and this is january 6th build think shield is also applied here but into the settings you get this kind of settings like login lenovo account i don't think so we need to log in there but anyhow these are the options you get in the personalized section you get print of options i really like this kind of ua this is a china based my ua here in india we won't expect this kind of ua for motorola lenovo based motorola devices this is how it is if i go into wallpaper again as you can see wallpapers you get this kind of options add effects option is also given here move and scale them as you can see and you also get some effect here you can even zoom blur sway ripple and adjust the brightness from here static wallpapers these are the pre-installed static wallpapers in the live wallpapers these things you will get in the my photos section again if you want to add those things you can do that lock screen wallpaper carousel i don't think so anyone need that into the themes again you get these kind of options here it's default now if you want to veil it will be like this and the pang Panger and Android and Haneke, Panger again, Zong Song. These are some of the applied themes you get. But let me show this one, Veil, how it looks like. Yeah, it will be completely blue now, as you can see. There's a quick settings panel you get, which is very much different, guys. I really like it. From here, you also use the power button and there are some toggles if you swipe down there is even a Dolby Atmos here location and other toggles you can see let me do one thing I'll change the theme here again revert back to default one we'll see how it looks like let me adjust the brightness a little bit now it's a little bit visible fine in my opinion let's see guys how it looks like yeah and also you will get icon packs here moto adaptive icon packs and something motorola one i think adaptive some might like if you want to install any third party that also you can do from here i can shape again you can adjust display size and text keep it this default settings then only the quick settings will look like this or else it will look different layout again you can choose that guys 2 into 2 to 5 into 7 is available here fingerprint animation but anyhow we have physical fingerprint scanner side here not in the screen but you'll get some options here again sounds and dark mode implementation let me show that also let's make it save here as you can see this how the dark mode looks like it's a little bit dull in my opinion it's not completely dark but anyhow you'll get this kind of options here transition also there is one more mode it will be mix of light and dark mode but anyhow these are the options you get in the personalization as you can see and into the display again you get all the basic features here refresh rate up to 165 is given let me keep that only because we our device is only supported 120 hertz but after using this it is feeling smooth only but definitely it's not a 165 panel guys this is Milan X 128 is the maximum refresh rate we can get hence it's a, a port ROM from Moto X40 hence we are sh showing like that here but anyhow you can play around them I don't think so this option is working 60 auto or anything like that let's check that guys uh, I'll take some more time here and edge lights again if you want to enable that you can do that here night light feature also again you can schedule them and increase or decrease the intensity from here colors options you get natural saturated color temperature you can adjust from here flicker prevention and screen timeout and screen recording features are also given here up to 1080p is given and dynamic refresh rate recording time limit is also given here unlimited you can see from here three finger screenshot also you can take from here swipe to split and moto connect and screen saver options are also given in this particular rom gestures again you get plenty of options here as you can see guys one handed mode swipe to split three finger screenshot again air call acceptance all these options are included in this particular rom 
notifications again you get bubbles conversation notification history app notifications device and app notification sensitive notification do not disturb is also given flash notifications other things what we can expect from any uh, aos prompts those options are also provided here sound and vibration it's very simple media option is given media controls are given uh, dolby atmos disabled as given if i go into settings also it's not working only through earphones or bluetooth ones it's going to work that's the limitation here and the maxi system engine if you want to boost that you can do these things but i don't recommend this this will not make any huge difference software will not make you huge difference in terms of hardware that you should always remember that battery as you can see battery saving options you get these kind of options here too battery manager charge boost option is given you can use that optimized charging is also given here you can restrict to certain percentage if you want to see the battery percentage you can enable from here location settings it's also remains in accessibility again you get plenty of options here family space system ui all these options are included in this particular rom into the security options you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock face unlock i will set up within uh, here let's see yeah face unlock has been done now let's see how it takes here let me show you the fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's unlocking very quickly here let's see the face unlock yeah it's also very much quick here both face unlock and fingerprint unlock are unlocking very much quick you also get these kind of options there is no uh, app lock here pre installed but if you want you can get it from third party like play store and all and system you get again these all the options here as you can see moto guide you get it and moto mover video call effects performance you can boost here these all the things you get about the phone as is shown before x40 edition it is my ua version 6.0 based on android 14 the home screen it looks like this and this is the widget you get very simple and it looks very good the material you design is very very good here and this all the app drawer you get here as you can see I really like it. Some of the apps pre-installed here is Recorder, which will be handy and useful for you. Every smartphone vendor will support this kind of uh, recording applications from their software end. And we'll also show you some apps like File Manager and Gallery. As you can see, File Manager, you get Leaf File here. You can see from here. This is the file manager application you get here. I try to uh, flash the magics, but it is an encrypted ROM and unable to flash. But using pen drive, you can flash magics and make the uh, this thing, whatever the safety and status get passed. That you can do that from here, guys. Moto connect option, as you can see, extend your phones to nearest. This you can do only it will be applicable for moto devices like that yeah but this is a software we have ported hence i don't think so they will going to work here anyhow you get games option here you can boost them out here and dolby atmos as i said you only get it via uh, those things i tried to reset or anything like that it's not working via the speakers here but anyhow that's given here and these are the options you get as you can see and essential apps like compass calculator those are also pre-installed i will show some app results and wind of this video guys bgm is also working fine i don't want to show that the gameplay but anyhow it's fine here you will get high fps count here uh, let's see some results in the gallery and what are the gallery features we get let's see more you get just rename set photos add to that's it single score is 1222 and multi score is 2959 based on android 14 and linux 4.19.300 nexus alliot version 26 kernel has been used in this particular rom and this is cpu throttling test guys 100 thread test you can see the maximum is around 286 average is 265 and minimum is 213 and this throttle to 86 percent of its max performance for 15 minutes running this test i got this results with 100 test guys and this is 6 degree celsius temperature was raised and 5 percentage of battery dropped here you won't get gpu score here you can add some extra 2 lakhs the score is around 4 lakh 68308 is the score what i got during this antidote benchmark result of this me 11x using my ui 6.0 and this is the sequential read and write test with graph and with 
and as you see safety net status cts profile match get failed you need to use magic's model sir internet speed is also fine stereo speaker support is also fine in this particular rom also you get app center here with that only i have installed play store let me search here yeah with that only i have used the play store let me show you that play store you can search like this at initial stages after flashing this rom you will not get the google services here you need to head towards the settings and go to system and select here google play services it will be by default turned off you need to turn it on manually then you can go into settings and add your google account to your google account then you can go into app center and download the play store from here that's what i did actually google let's do chrome at least what will be the actually i downloaded from similar here chrome yeah, as you can see google play store from here i have installed this google play store then you can update the play store once you install this and you'll get all these applications whatever you need to use that's going to work fine that you need to keep in mind guys let's say bgmi what are the graphic settings and how it handle in this particular rock that's how you get a game mode here as you can see you can see cpu gpu speed fps count ram core everything you can see you can block the calls block the notification locked mode is available acoustic lights is available uh, acoustic lights let's see how it will work actually start now yeah you will get this kind of lights here as you can see if someone fires as you can see let me check other options you can even block the calls that i really like it you can take screenshot from here screen recording edit option settings and these are the things you get balanced is there now i'll go into turbo here performance mode turbo yeah now let's see acoustic lights are turned on and one more thing i want to show is I want to show this graphic settings actually and this how the quick settings panel and other things you can access from here anyhow graphic settings as you can see set to smooth plus 90 fps you also get ultra hdr options here too i really like it and this acoustic light is going to help you whether there is an enemy or anything like that then it will be useful i think so it is phone The gameplay is fine here. 90 FPS definitely it will make a difference. Okay, I will come back here. This is the gameplay in this My UA 6.0. The interface wise, it is very different and very much elegant here. I really like this kind of experience. You should definitely try it out, guys. If you are bored with uh, AUSP kind of ROMs and MIUI. And even Oxygen OS, Realme UA, Oppo, Color OS, everything we have tried. Though this my UA is also takes his head here. It's also good in my opinion. Uh, just we need some more updates to fix safety net status and all. But if you know how to do that using Magic's model, this will be a very good uh, change in your uh, customization and change in ROM world, guys. Definitely you should try this out. But if you are looking kind of a smooth and simple rom then this is not for you this is the conclusion and i hope you have liked the video as of now still not subscribe to youtube channel subscribe guys you will be making similar kind of videos as you can see this is the ram management i mean recent apps ram management let's test uh which one yeah this one it is reloaded ram management could have been better but anyhow this is how the UI my US 6.0 on this Poco F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11 or the Redmi K40 will be signing off. This is Sampath. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.